we're now ready to put on the the y-axis plate. It's going to be sliding on, sliding along the y-axis support like this. We're going to start with a three-inch, or I'm sorry, a two-inch, three-eighths inch screw. This is going to be going um, through this top right corner. Note, note the locations of these two pieces. Orientation is very important on this one. You'll notice also it's more rectangular and it's, it's, you want to be in the orientation that it's longer going up and down. So I'll start out with a two inch screw with a, um, a V groove bearing and then a small washer that has, it, you'll feel that it's convex on one side and then it's concave on the other side. The convex side should be on the side of the um, bearing and then we'll have a, um, a thicker washer that goes against that which will go into the top right hand corner and then a standard washer and a nut. Make sure that it the bearing turns, if it doesn't turn, that means that the smaller washer is in the wrong, um, in, in the wrong way. Now we're going to put in this one. This one will, will require a 3 inch, 3 eighths inch um, uh, screw and it's going to provide the bearing for this rail and for the Y axis rail going up and down or the Z axis rail going up and down. So let's start with the same orientation, the same configuration of one bearing, a smaller washer with the concave and convex side. The convex side should be on the bearing side, and a, a washer, one of the thicker washers. And after that, you put on another thick washer, we add one of the standard washers, smaller convex washer, and then another bearing. We want to put another convex washer on this side. My orientation. Always have the con convex side towards the bearing, so the bearing is always going to turn. And then a, a nut. Make sure the bearings still turn once it's tightened. We're going to be um, putting now the, the bottom bearings to clamp up against the bottom rail. Now we're going to be putting in a bearing here for the z-axis rail. So two inch um, screw, three eighths diameter with um, the bearing and then one of the, the convex small um, washers. A medium sized washer again and another large washer here and the back we're going to be putting a same combination of a washer and a nut, a medium sized washer. So we have the screw 2 inch, the large washer, large washer, medium washer, convex washer, bearing and then nut. y-axis or the z-axis bearings here.
the same configuration as before. Start with the two inch with the larger washers here. on our z-axis. You might want to put something underneath it so it gets some height since it gets pretty close to this bearing. our lead screws in this location for the Y and then for the X. 